All right, y'all. So the Corky Kill Dave Hunter was a success. It's a wrap. Douglas County takes the game 42-7. DJ Bordeaux wins the MVP, man. Uh, electric performance, three touchdowns. Says that he felt uh, he felt that he's gotten better reading defenses. Look very poised tonight. Only had one interception. I think he'll be very good. And they just have so many weapons, man. Rakeem Kelly went in the winning offensive player of the game. Um, you know, got Aaron Gregory, Devin Carter's coming back from a, a fractured wrist and an injury. Um, so dealing with a lot, man. But I think overall it was a dominant performance for them. Um, Jordan Carter looked good on the defense side of the ball. That's a lot of teams that are really good on their team. So um, Douglas County, they got a big one next week. They're going to play Jonesboro um, in a really uh, tight contest. I think it should be really intriguing who comes out on top in that one. Uh, overall, I thought Sutherland. And obviously their quarterback, number 16, he stepped up big uh, for Cedar Grove. I know, like I said, it was 42-7, but late, they built some a little bit of momentum, was able to score points, um, and just build momentum going into the rest of the season. It's probably going to be one of the toughest matchups overall, man. But, you know, good showing by Douglas County. Started the season strong, and they got Jonesboro next week, so that'll be a good one. A lot of athletes all over the field. I'm sure somebody's going to pick that game up. It'll be a, probably a lot of media there. But that's my thoughts, man. Great uh, game, great uh, win for head coach Johnny White. And obviously, uh, the Tigers, they're going to be a team to beat this year. Got some big-time games on the schedule. Got Langston Hughes, Buford, and many more. So I uh, can't wait to see what they're going to be able to do this season.